into the weekend and it does look like we could have another round of some patchy the dense fog throughout portions of the Midlands as there's just still plenty of low level moisture across the area still from Helene when we got so much rain from that and that could lead to a stray shower thanks to a little upper level system that will head our way on Friday but the weekend is looking sunny warm and dry so good news for the high school football Friday night and also into Saturday for some of the football in and around the Midlands and here in South Carolina but here's a look at that fog potential for tonight. You can see as the evening goes on and especially by tomorrow morning visibilities could be dropping again as we have that kind of a northeast breeze helping to push down some of that more humid air. So you can see visibilities down to about a mile in some spots, especially off to the east towards Sumter, Camden, Bishopville. But right now we got clear skies up above much of the Midlands. Temperatures cooling it does feel rather comfortable out there. We got 73 degrees. Winds are calm, but you can see those dew points are in the mid 60s. So as temperatures continue to get close to that dew point, that's why we have that potential for another round of fog tomorrow morning. We are clear on satellite and radar. Big picture. We do have a weak little frontal system, mainly to our north that's pushing and it's going to fall apart here. So we're not really expecting anything with this front. And you can see on future cast, it's really just an area of high pressure building in behind it, continuing to give us that northeast flow. So you can see a fair bit of clouds expected for our Thursday, similar to what we saw today. Some sunshine early, clouds building in during the afternoon. We will have a little short wave a Friday that could produce some rain, unfortunately, up into the mountains. But I think here locally, we're just going to have our fair share of clouds again on Friday. You do notice into the Gulf of Mexico, we got a kind of a broad low developing. That's what we're watching for possible development, but it looks like it stays as a broad system. will produce a fair bit of rain across the Gulf Coast, but we should continue to stay dry as we just have rounds of cold fronts coming in from the north, helping to keep that system to the south and the rain along the Gulf Coast and over into Florida. So this is now Sunday, still looking good for us here in the Midlands. Another front looks to get here by the first part of next week, and this one might finally have enough oomph to give us a little bit of some cooler temperatures, making it feel a little bit more like fall by the middle of the week. But again, you can see how it keeps that low pressure to the south with the rain mainly over Florida. So we still have Hurricane Kirk. Now we have Tropical Depression 13, soon to become Tropical Storm Leslie. Both of those are going to stay over the open water, so no concern for us. And the good news is they have downgraded this, now just a 30% chance. So they're seeing it not really getting too tropical in nature, just going to remain as that broad low system as we go through the next couple of days. So looking at the next few hours, temperatures should cool off into the low 60s and mid 60s. 60s and then tomorrow back into those low the mid 80s with a good deal of sunshine and some afternoon clouds across much of the Midlands with us staying dry. Just a little bit extra clouds, maybe a stray shower Friday, but again, weekend looking dry and warm before finally cooling off just a touch down to the 70s by next week.